Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and today we're going to be reading Dragons Are the Worst. Dragons Are the Worst is by Alex Willem. Let's see what happens in Dragons Are the Worst. Nope, oh, here are the warning signs. Beware, dangerous. You know, we goblins have been around for ages, and there was a time when our magical misdeeds were taken seriously, even feared. But lately it seems like everyone is only concerned with one thing. Dragons! <laughs> Dragons juggling the sheep. This one burst through the wall. Now I know what you're gonna say. Dragons are so scary, yada, yada, yada. But lots of magical creatures are scary, like ogres and trolls, and of course, goblins. We have frighteningly good fashion sense. Big head equals big brain, not scientifically proven. Big ears can hear danger, all seeing eyes. The wingspan of a small mongoose. Small hands, good for poking. Only kind of ticklish. And strong legs, good for fleeing. I mean, good for chasing. I know spells that can make your shoelaces come untied. I can turn candy into spiders. And I've perfected my terrifying pigeon costume. But does anyone run from fear from my magical might? Fear me! Do you think it'll work? Fear me! Oh, aren't you just the cutest? What an adorable goblin! But if a dragon even so much as flies past, everyone is instantly terrified! Oh no, a big scary dragon is flying past! I am instantly terrified. <sighs> so what if I'd never trapped a king inside a tall tower? Hey, get back here! Or hoarded all the gold in a kingdom? Hey, get back here! Boing, boing, boing. And it's true. I may have run from a dragon or two in the past. Ah! But in my defense, they caught me by surprise. Can you see the dragons? This one looks like a scary one, but look at this one. It's a baby. And this one isn't even real, it's a stuffed one. When you think about it, dragons aren't even that scary. Sure, they can breathe fire, but all that hot breath makes eating ice cream nearly impossible. Oh. Having all those sharp teeth just means it takes forever to floss. And good luck finding a hat that fits when you have big spiky horns. Dragons may be covered in scales, but so are mermaids. And you don't see anyone fleeing in fear from a mermaid. In my defense, that trident looked really pointy. And so what if dragons can soar through the skies? So can a pigeon. And if you think pigeon poop can make a mess, don't even get me started on dragon poop. Oh no, they crash landed right in the poop. It's even on their head. Oh, oh look, some brave knights. No doubt on some epic quest to capture some big, scary dragon. Dragons get all the quests. Where are my quests? Fear me! Oh my goodness. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh. I did it! I scared them off! I mean, of course I did. Like I said, goblins are just as scary as those silly 
dragons. Oh no. Wee, wee, wee. Like I told you, dragons aren't so scary. They're lucky they've got me around to chase away those pesky knights. And it turns out ice cream soup isn't so bad once you get used to it. Bye, dragons. Oh, look. oh, he still has poop on him. Oh, and look at that. <gasps> Beware. Proof of how scary goblins are. My very own warning poster. Yee! Now, maybe people are, will start to take me more seriously around here. Let's see what the Beware poster actually says. Beware the smell. Super stinky goblin. Nose holding strongly recommended. Are they scared of him? Uh-uh. They just think they smell. The end. Poor goblin. Will they ever be taken seriously? <laughs> Great listening, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this story. And if you did, there are, no, there are three total. There are two others in the series. There is a unicorn book and a new Yeti book. I hope you enjoyed them. This is one of my Henry's favorites right now. I hope you all have the most wonderful week and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.